my channel. Today we are going to be doing kind of like a chit chat get ready with me using makeup that I've bought or got received from. I don't know. Received from the Ipsy Generation Beauty. And if you guys are not following me on any socials, I'm going to put them all over the screen right now. Um, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. I made a Twitter. I just don't use it, but I'm trying to use it. So just follow me on there. And I also made a Poshmark. If you guys don't know what Poshmark is, it is basically a uh, selling app, which is really cool. Sign up, you post all of your pictures, and you just kind of sell your stuff. And you follow, you can follow people, you can see different items, you can look up things that you want to see. As you guys all know, I've moved out, and I just moved from having a closet like this big to having like half of a closet. So I have to get rid of so much stuff. Some stuff I did donate to the Philippines and I gave to my mom. Other stuff I'm still like pulling out of my closet right now because it's still like really packed so if you guys want to check out a couple of things i am selling on poshmark i will have the link down below and anywhere else on the screen but yeah i would totally get the app you guys it's almost summer it's that time of the year everyone's shopping around for stuff like shorts tank tops crop tops all of that shebang so if you guys have things that you don't need go ahead and sell them i know I am. You don't even have to sell it. You could just get it to buy stuff because there's so much cute stuff that you can just buy on there. And it's just like, wow, like you didn't want this? Fine. I'll take it. But yeah, if you guys want to check out Poshmark and all of my other links and such like that, it's always in the description box. Does anybody even open that? I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm just going to talk through this tutorial with you guys and we'll see if it went good or if it went to bed. Good morning you guys. Today I'm just gonna do a really quick kind of chit chat, get ready with me, full face of uh, all of this products that I got at Gen Beauty. It's been a while since I've actually like sat down and talked to you guys so I thought today would be a good day. The sun is somewhat out so the lighting isn't too bad and I didn't want to like take out my huge box, light box lights in this big room. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's just get on and play with all this makeup that I've been waiting to play with for this video. So first of all, let's address this issue. Um, I got all of these, like, little tiny, I don't even know if you can see it, if the camera's focus, but I got all these little tiny, like, pimples all over my face, and I hope it's just my skin purging, because every time I try something new, or, like, I get a new bottle of something, my skin is just like, what the fuck just happened? Um, but... Yeah, let's just go ahead and get on. I've already put my serum on. I'm about to put my all-time favorite moisturizer. You guys already know. I'm about to put this on my face right now. I was just waiting for the serum to dry a little bit. So it's, it's on our face. Maybe I also need to clean my brushes. It's probably what it is, too. Okay. That just made me look more red. So, now that's done, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. I don't... I think there's any eyebrow products in here like there's there's a lot of stuff um I have to be in class in less than an hour so let's just let's get right to it okay so I'm just gonna do my eyebrows off camera there is not any eyebrow products in here so I'm just gonna do my go-to and I will be right back okay so I just did my eyebrows they are here they have arrived um let's go on and do the rest of my face i don't think there was any like foundations or concealers that I, that like came in the bag or that i purchased so with that we're just going to use like whatever we don't have or whatever they didn't like give us or i bought we're just going to use what we got and work with what we have so let's go ahead and do our eyes first i don't think there was a primer we're just going to use some good old concealer. I did buy a palette, and then I have bought, they also came with, like, eyelashes and stuff. Like, a bunch of stuff. I'm going to go and put my Makeup Revolution on my eyes. I just bought a new one, and it's so exciting. It's so exciting. So, I'm just going to put that all over my eyes. And we're just going to do something light today. I really hope I'm not late to class. <laughs> I probably will be, but... And then I'm going to go in with this palette, which I bought because the bomb was like 50% off. So I was like, all right, well, it's time to try this brand out. Um, I got their Volume 3 Nude Eyeshadow Palette, and it looks like this. I like how you can put this back, but these are the colors. 
super pretty. They're actually colors I use, so that's exciting. After that, I'm just going to go in with the color Bodacious. I almost said Bobalicious. We're going to go in Bodacious, and we're going to put that all over our eyeballs. I really like orangey colors. Not bad, I guess. I don't know how I feel about this blend though. We're just gonna do something slight because I want to make sure I make it to class on time. Stay in school kids as much as you can. And then I'm gonna go in with a different brush and put in the color brazen, this dark brown over here, and apply that on my outer lids. Well actually let's go in with this color bold and put that on our lids, if it'll show up. We'll see. Oh, we got a little bit, a little something, something. I'm gonna blend this out, I think. Okay, here we go. Should we do a red lip today? I know all of you really liked that look that I did, but this is practically like the same thing. And then I'm gonna go in with that dark brown and put it on my outer corners. Wow, that's really Okay, and the other side, and then just blend that out as much as you can. Jesus, that color does not want to blend. I'm just going to dip my brush into those two colors I use and try to blend that out. I feel like the more you blend these, these eyeshadows, they like go away because I feel like I keep blending this dark color and all the colors that I've already put are just like fading away which is okay so that's as blended as we can get I think we're just gonna apply some eyeshadow right on top the good old-fashioned way spray it with my Mario Badescu and what color should we use we're gonna use this color in built right on top right there and we're just apply that all over our eyelids hopefully it shows up on our eyelids oh yeah okay that's pretty it's like this is like every look i do literally okay like that and then kind of just sweep it out Yep, yeah, your girl has to leave soon. So now that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyes. Um, there's so many, there's so much mascara. I don't even know. We've got the Scuba by the Bomb, the Physician's Formula Voluptuous Curl and Volume. That sounds interesting. We've also got the Buxom Big Tees. Um, which one looks promising? Okay, I've already tried the Scuba one. It's not that bad. I like how it's water resistant. Um, but let's try something else. Let's try the Physician's Formula one because it is a drugstore brand. We'll try that one. It's full volume curling mascara. And it has like vitamins and peptides and all that stuff. Hopefully this turns out better. And this is what the brush looks like. It's kind of like hourglass shaped. That's what it says. And we're just going to... How do you use this? Oh, I got on my eyes. I feel like this wand is humongous for my eyes. I feel like I'm getting mascara all over my eyeshadow. Okay, it's not that bad though. I like that. I like that. I hope it doesn't like droop down by the end of the day. Okay, so they did fall. So this is what it looked like right after and this is it falling already, so. Not the best, but it'll do. I'm gonna go in with these, this Pure Correcting Primer Hydrate and Balance, um, so that way we can give it some time to like sink into our skin. I've been using this and I really like it. I mean, it makes my makeup look really good. Maybe this is what's breaking me out. I don't know. I've been using it for a while though. And what I like about this primer, it has like that gel consistency. And gel is good if you have oily skin. And while we're waiting for that, I'm going to go ahead and dampen these. I'm pretty sure you can dampen. 
them. So, they're little cream makeup macaron blenders. I hope this doesn't make my makeup look like shit. Um, so I dampened it a little bit and it like literally looks the same. It's just less hard. So I'm gonna go in with my foundation, my holy grail, my one true love, the one I always go back to. I'm just gonna apply that all over my face. And I've been breaking out like crazy, so I don't know why. It all just came out of nowhere too. Like my skin was doing just fine two days ago and then yesterday like boom pimple sound okay so I do I just okay um okay I'm blending I think okay I think I'm just gonna yeah it has a smell to it I don't like that Oh, it has a really strong smell. I feel like it's not really blending. It's just kind of absorbing my makeup. Let's use this side like this. Yeah, there we go. I feel like it's really absorbing it. And if you guys don't know Cream, it's kind of like a really cheap brand. Some of their makeup's good, but not all of it. Okay, um, that made my full coverage foundation look medium coverage. I'm gonna do that and go on with the stippling brush. Wow, this brush is humongous. Ow, oh, got it in my eye. Ugh. Jesus. And then I'm just gonna stipple that everywhere. This is humongous. Literally. Like, I know it's getting my face. Perfect. <laughs> I feel really silly because this is just huge and it's really not that dense. So it's kind of just like brushing through my skin. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to go in with my finger now and conceal a little bit more of those spots. Now I'm going to go in with my concealer and just conceal my under eyes with everyone's holy grail concealer right now. The makeup revolution. This is humongous. And just to let you guys know, like, everyone gets something different in their bag. Um, there are some products that are, like, the same. But, like, I know I got this thing, and then my sister got something else, so. If you guys are wondering, the distance that I'm looking at, it looks really good. Like, my foundation looks really good. Up close, now that could be a different story. Like, I don't know if you can see that. This bronzer is kind of more on the, like, pinkier side. Like, it's not really working out. Like, I feel like I have to use it as a blush, really, and not exactly as a bronzer, so I'm just gonna stop right there and just blend that out because it looks like I put blush as a bronzer on this face of mine, so I'm just gonna blend that towards my cheekbones, kind of, and just make it look more like blush. Now I'm going to go in with an angled brush and I'm just going to contour my nose a little bit. You guys know how I feel about contouring my nose. It is a must. Okay. And then I just like to go in with that contour brush and blend that out. I don't know if you guys know this, but like my eyelashes have now like drooped down and they're still kind of wet, which is kind of like weird. I feel like the mascara would be really good if it was more like a waterproof formula. But right now, I don't think it is because it's just, it did not hold the curl. So now here comes the fun part. Um, I bought this one, which is the Overshadow by The Bomb. And it's like this really pretty pearly pigment. And it's honestly my favorite. And I put it just in my inner corners. Just like that. See how like bright that was? 
And then I like to pop some on my eyelid a little bit. Then we're gonna go in with this butter highlighter, which I've been really looking at for a while. They also had like testers at the Physician's Formula. This is like a bomb Physician's Formula tutorial because they really didn't give much. Like for face, it was just a whole bunch of lip products. So this is the butter highlighter. Um, looks like this. I did swatch it. It is so buttery, honestly. And this is what it looks like. That's really nice. Okay, so in my face. And spray my brush. And, wow. That is so nice. Holy guacamole. It's just blend it out a little bit. Because since I am bringing it right here, you can like feel my pimples. Wow, that is so nice. Like, I'm shook. This is really nice. Wow, Physician's Formula, look at you, like, holy cow, I just, like, want to keep, <laughs> like, putting it on my face, okay, and then let's go in and do coverage of our nose, wow, this is so good, like, what? Nobody gets high end anymore. We're just, we are just doing drugstore. I don't. I rarely get high end stuff. And now I don't think I ever will. Yes, I'm here for this freaking highlighter. Do you guys, it has like that, I'm pretty sure they have more colors, but this one's like the yellowy tone one. But like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is so nice. Let me just take my other brush and just blend that out a little bit. It's looking a little rough. Y'all saw that, right? Like, wow, okay, I think I'm putting too much. Now that we are all highlighted and glowy, AF and cute, we're gonna do our eyelashes. I also got this Pixie by Petra, a liquid fairy, um, like glitter thing. It's like those steel ones, and I'm just gonna put some on my inner eyes because my inner eyes, my inner corners, oh, it's almost broke it. Why not, you know? This is what I did last time with this, and it just looked really good, so. Uh, doing it again, so my makeup is kind of basic today. I'm gonna go for a little bit more dramatic eyelashes. My go-to babies, you guys already know the drill. Love this brand. I also bought a new eyelash glue because that was very much needed. Let's go ahead and pop these on. I'm already late for class. Whatever. At least I'm showing up, okay? College be like. I'm gonna go back in and put some eyeliner on my eyes as well so it just kind of blends a little bit better. Um, this is the eyeliner that came in the bag. It's from Essence. It's their eyeliner pen. Let's just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I'm not going to see the rest of this. This eyeliner pen is okay. It just... It's, it's actually not that bad. I'm just wondering, like, how long will it last? Or if it'll like smear or anything. Um, so let's just help those dry a little faster. I feel like my face is just so like pink and like bronze like. I don't go to the beach, okay? There was a lot of lippies, like a lot of lippies that they gave us. Um, going to take my eyelashes and just pop them right on. Eyelashes will make or break your look, just saying. Like, a good amount of time, I'm not even wearing, like, eyeshadow. I'll just be wearing, like, a line of eyeliner and some mas mascara and some eyelashes. Because eyelashes are just the best things ever. They just totally put, like, make your face look put together. Like, the difference, like, you see? So, yeah. And ta-da! So, that was the hard part. We gotta figure out what lippy we want to use. Let me just make sure these are 
actually on my eyeballs. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Um, this is the look I ended up with. It's more like kind of like natural, but like sexy kind of look. I don't know. This highlighter is just really good. Like look at my nose. Okay. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this kind of get ready with me chit chatty type thing. Um, yeah, if you guys are not subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button and also go ahead and tap on the bell button. So every time I post, you get a notification because we all know I try to post all the time, but I really don't because I just, I just get really busy. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed. I tried to use as much products as I could. Um, so yeah. I hope it wasn't too disappointing for you guys. Have a lovely day, and I will see you guys in my next